What's up YouTube? I'm Melton Metal Anthony and today I'm going to show you how to make a quick reta attach receiver for your bucket like I did here on my set of forks. cut off the original mounting brackets um, very crudely with the torch and as you can tell quite a little bit ago I've been planning on doing this for a while um, I figured it was kind of fodder for a YouTube video okay so now it's time for me to get the proper safety gear on or PPE as we call it in the industry uh, because you don't want to get metal in your eye I've done it about three times it's very expensive and pretty painful so uh, let's get into it oh just like that we got our safety gear on I like to use my welding hood while cutting on the grind setting. Offers me a little bit more protection on the side of my face for stuff that pops randomly. I have gotten burnt several times with a torch on my face. Not a fun time. Don't suggest you guys try it out. Well, I ran out of oxygen um, on all three of my bottles. <laughs> it's part of what happens when you run, own, and operate your own welding company, and you're pretty much a one-man band with the exception of my helper, who you'll see from time to time. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit this with the grinding wheel and get it cleaned up. So I've got most of the prep work done. I'm going to go ahead here and knock off the uh, existing piece that's in our way for our quick connect receiver. She's been on there for a long time. So all of our prep work is done. I know it's not perfect, but application, application, application. You have to know how much time to spend on things. Uh, certain things are just not worth hours on end of prep work, and this is one of them. For one, it's mine. I'm not worried about ruining my reputation by laying down some subpar welds because of dirty metal. For number two, look at it. It's beat. And for number three, I'm um, only going to be using this bucket for my purposes, um, maybe some friends, you know, and probably not grading with it. So I'm not too worried about how uh, perfectly straight it is. As you can see, we have some bowing action going on right here, which I will try to remedy that. I'm going to try to beat that with a hammer um, and push it back in out a little bit. I would heat it with the torch, but like I said, out of oxygen, don't have time to go and run any. So I'm going to go ahead and mark and cut my metal. I know I need a 22 inch piece and the math worked out just right to where this four inch piece is going to come just enough above that bucket so that I can make my quick connect uh, latch piece, I guess you'd call it, right on the top. So I went ahead and I got this piece prepped and I'm gonna go ahead now and clamp it in. I've got it clamped on one side and what I'm gonna do is work it my way down with the clamps and try to stretch the, uh, the wave out of the uh, small metal here. So as you can see here, our fit up's getting a lot better down here with just some clamp work and some hammering. So of course we'll work on this part, but you wanna start at one end and work your way to the other. Never start from both ends and work your way across. So what I'll do is I'll tack weld down there. I'll probably uh, attack, put a tack here, a tack here, a tack on the inside, a tack underneath, and then I'll work my way over, straighten this half out, and then work my way down here finally, straighten this out with tacks and then go ahead and do the final welding. So I've made it down this far and I'm pretty sure I, you can see right down into the gap I still have. I'm gonna go ahead and throw another tack right here and then a tack on the bottom half of course and just try to keep working this the rest of the way out. It's coming out pretty good. Um, it's not perfect, but again, application, application, application. It, it's going, look at the bucket. It's not flat, it's not square, so we're just going to do the best we can on this and call it a day. So I went ahead and I already cut a 22 inch piece out for the bottom here just to get equal height. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and tack weld this thing in. It should be fairly simple. Um, it should tack right in, and then we'll go ahead and make our sides, our top, and our bottom. All right, so I have the bottom piece welded in there. I don't know if you can see that. So that's all welded up. Now we need to make our top piece to go over the receiver end and then our side pieces to enclose the receiver. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those cut out. So, oh, and our bottom piece, of course, too, that goes across the bottom that our uh, pin locks go through. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut them out. It's gonna be um, two 19 inch pieces and then two 22 inch pieces I need to cut out. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do across the top here if I'm gonna use the flat stock that I currently have, because this is only like two or three inches here, or I'm gonna use a piece of angle that I have laying around. So there it is, we just went and cut all of our pieces out for the remaining uh, things we need here. This is a two inch piece. We got our two 19 inch pieces right here. We have our 22 inch piece of angle that I'm going to use as the retainer on the top. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to work out or not, but again, it's my stuff. If it fails and it breaks, well, I'll just fix it. So I've cut the angle brackets. I'm gonna go ahead and get welding those in. Uh, those are for the sides. And that's pretty much gonna do all the welding and fabrication I need to. The last thing I'm gonna to need to do is just cut holes for the quick connect locks to slide through. I'll have to do that tomorrow, like I said, because I am out of oxygen. Alright YouTube, as you can see we got it all mounted up. The final steps I need to take are just cut the holes for the quick connect lock mechanism to slip through. Other than that, I'm just going to trim a little bit of the metal down here just to clean it up a little bit so the bucket doesn't drag that through when I'm you know, using it for whatever purpose I might be using it for. But yeah, other than that, uh, let's get cutting, painting, and finish this bucket up. All right, so there you have it. I got everything welded, cut on. It should be good to go. Um, we're gonna test the quick connects here in a second, see if they work out, and then uh, I'll give you a quick overview of everything I did. So that's it. We got the bucket on. We're going to go ahead and test this sucker out in the woods. Uh, looks great to me. Seems like it'll work out great. Let's find out how well it does. Well, that's it. I appreciate you watching the video. If you like what you've seen here today, go ahead and give this page a subscribe. Go ahead and like the video, share it, do whatever you can. Um, I'm going to be doing stuff like this. Um, I've got all sorts of projects coming up. Uh, possibly some of the big industrial ones that I'm going to have to get permission to bring you guys on. But we will see about that. Um, otherwise, thanks.